Hello everyone, and welcome to Hellblade 2 Senua's Saga. It has been just under seven years since the first Hellblade came out, and we played that pretty early on in the lifespan of this channel. And it was it was quite a mixed bag, I thought. The story, the characters, the uh, exploration of like mental illness and all that was very interesting and very well done. But then there was the combat side of the game, which I definitely thought was quite weak. And uh, I'm going. I'm interested to see how they have iterated upon that here. Uh, one thing I'm doing slightly differently to normal in this game is I'm going to leave subtitles off. I usually always have si subtitles on, but apparently this game has literally zero HUD at all. It is it is pure like nothing on the screen at all. And also, given the given the exploration of psychosis and the voices you'll be hearing in your head and everything. You're probably not meant to catch literally every single thing that's been said by these voices and you're probably meant to have them just sort of like become overwhelming at points. So I think missing anything like that being a possibility with side subtitles off is probably fine. So that is one thing we are doing differently to usual. But aside from that, I think we are good to get in. Ah oh, nice, they've got a recap. Let's uh let's check out the recap. Senua the outcast who became a warrior, who faced her demons and challenged the gods for her lover's soul, has accepted the voices, the furies, as part of herself. Just like her mother Galena, she was not like other people. She saw and heard the world differently. Her father, Zinbel, told her she was evil, tainted by the sin of her mother. Tormented and afraid, she retreated from the world. Until love broke through like the rays of a new dawn. In Dillion's acceptance, she could live again. He gave light to her mind and freed a warrior from her body. And then it went badly for old Dillion. But the voice of her father stayed with her, reminding her of her curse. And when the plague came to her land, the people blamed Senua. She took her darkness with her banishing herself to the wilds. So she was not there when the Northmen massacred her people and sacrificed Dillion to the god of hell. Senua's torment was so deep that the world around her fell away. She took the head of her beloved, the vessel of his soul, and vowed to go to hell herself to save him. Through mist-shrouded horrors, she fought to find the secret path that would lead her to the very gates of hell. But the way was marked by fire and illusion. Senua had to fight the gods that guarded these paths and stave off the rot which threatened to consume her mind and end her life. Only conquest could open the gates. Only blood would bring her face to face with Hela. I wonder if they'll do anything like the rot in face this game. Face to face with defeat. Because the rot was a pretty big bait in the original. Once again, Senua was engulfed in darkness, lost in a maze of misery and confusion until Dillion's voice led her to the promise of victory. A sword that could kill a god. To win the sword, Senua would drown in her darkest memories, pulling at the shards lodged in flesh, mind and soul. She pressed deeper into the underworld, resisting its grasping hands and deafening cries until she found her prize before the guardian of hell's gates. 
Senua released her rage, a fury that could not be stopped. Not by savage jaws, not by waves of warriors, not by the pull of death itself. In defeat and desperation, Senua begged for her beloved's release. But a sacrifice must be made, and burdens cast away. Senua's fate was never in the hands of the gods, but in her own. Only she could choose, out of love, to live, to go on, and to take us with her. Good recap. Very nice. Love the uh, the imagery that they were using along with that. That was good. Will I need to lower the volume? It looked like it might have been a bit loud, but hard to tell off of one cutscene. But I will keep an eye on it. Sometimes you can tell from the start menu. Oh, hello. Focus is the triggers. You've got block parry on the bumper, sprint on other bumper. We got fast attack. We got heavy attack. I guess it's just giving us all the controls now because it's not going to pop up any UI in the game. Uh, we got evade on it. Okay, so these are the important ones is attack, evade, and parry slash block. So those are the ones to keep most in mind. All right. Yeah, sometimes the menu gives a good indication of uh, how loud a game is going to be, but the menu for this game was very quiet, so... Hard to know where to set the Do volume. I know you. It's been a long time. God, that's so good with the headphones. She made a promise to the one she loved. Dead now. But no less. A promise. Not one soul more would suffer as he had. She carries him in her heart. His death, his life, will drive her on. She will forge a purpose from his death. Make meaning from the pain. And then the Northmen came again to our land. Uh oh. Stripping us of our names, our lives. Of everything that makes us. Who we are, beating and finding, taking us as slaves. These Northmen sail under a blood red sign. And one among them they call Master. Senua will follow that sign. She let herself be taken. Dragged in chains to their ships, so she can trace the poison to its source. Oh, interesting! The heart and cut it out. Stop the slavers. Keep her promise. We're starting off captured. Okay, captured with purpose. Birds can drift off course. Not great. It begins as it ends. Alone. In the dark. Oh, it's so weird hearing that whispering right into my right ear. <laughs> I hope that, uh, I actually don't know how, does the recording record binaural sound? I hope it records it. Like, so that you can hear the voices whispering through the right sides and everything as well. I hope it's not mono. Get out. 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 Get out.
Even when you're pulled by forces dim and vast, fate can stop you cold. A dream has founded with the ship. She must find a new light to steer by, find the next sign. Okay. We are in. Man, what a what an atmosphere that they're setting up here. <laughs> Melina Jurgens. I hope that's how you pronounce that. That is the woman playing Senua. Did such a good job in the first game, and I'm sure we'll continue to do so this in this one. Push us back. She's so far from home. From all she's ever known, half found. Lost in a world still clouded to her eyes. When she won't yield, she must fight on. As she always has. Remember? We've been to hell before. Drinking the vibe. Look. There it is. This is only the beginning. Climb somewhere. You need to climb again. She will fall if she does. You double. Climb somewhere. Climb. Climb. She's got this. She's going to fall. No! Careful, Senua. Come on. Climb. Come on. Don't listen to Don't listen to Listen to your mind. Coward! Why have we come here? Stupid! Come on! Climb! She's too exhausted. Too exhausted. It's too much. Don't look down. Don't let the fear get to you. I don't want to talk over the voices at all, but they are talking a lot, so this might be a, uh, <laughs> there might not be a ton of commentary. The voices draw her onward. The ones who didn't live. The ones she could not save. She can hear them calling. Lives stolen by the Northmen. She carries them with her. Always. She is afraid, exhausted. It just feels kind of wrong to talk over them, you know, so I will try and find moments. Well, we made it up. Stupid. 
Burn. Why did we come here? She's stupid! You should not have come here, child. Hello. This is fine. Your hopes were always doomed to fail. God, what a great voice. All this way. Just to die among strangers. You! Why did you come back? Did you think you had left me behind? I am always here. I won't listen to you! Damn. I always that was cool. she'd left it in the past. Her father. She clouds her mind with fear, but she won't stop. Stronger forces drive her on. She doesn't want to look at the camera. <laughs> That's interesting. Okay, we push forward. This is going to be a bleak game, I feel. Hopefully, Senua can make it out the other side stronger for the experience. As she did in the original. Well, it's definitely uh, feeling like we're going to have a lot of trials and tribulations on that path. There is no quick fix for. Uh... She needs you to go to her quickly. Wait, who? Are we jumping down here? Oh, do I just need to? Oh, there we go. I didn't realize I had to press A to drop off a ledge. Right, there is a sprint. You didn't do it though. Ooh. Unfortunate. Get across to the other side. Don't look down. So easy to slip Look down. Signs are leading me. They brought me here. She knows that all through this world there are signs and symbols waiting to be discovered. The meaning is there. If only you could find it. Just looking at all the environmental details, reflections in the puddles and everything. It's so atmospheric. All right, triggers, focus right? Focus and where the symbol try to focus. Do not forget my story, Senua. I am with you still. Out of hell you have come, and now find yourself in Midgard. The world of man. Do not think it any less dangerous for that. Your path has taken you far from home, across the boundless sea, and you must go on to the heart of this place. To the heart of man. You have seen how the Northmen journey out to conquer. And this is one of their lands. As icy dark as Niflheim. Yet as fiery as Muspel. It has not long been claimed, and they try still to tame it. All right. I guess we are looking for these uh, as like missable, collectible audio things. Looks like there's a fair few, assuming there's one per symbol on there. 
What's that, like 20-ish or something? We will certainly find as many of those as we can. Follow him, but be careful. They will kill you this time. Like they did to her. On the cliff. You were too weak to help. Follow him. Be ready to fight. She is a warrior. A warrior with no sword. No weapon. She came here with nothing. What good are you to anyone with no weapon? He will kill you. He will. Well, the only way is forward. God damn, it's setting such a mood. Can we grab this? No. <laughs> I was wondering if we could pick up a fire poker and use it as a weapon or something. I don't know how much I need to be, like, searching, how in your face the, like, audio side bits are going to be and stuff. Whether I need to be combing the environment or if it will mostly be sort of handed to me. Remember why we came here. She came here for a reason. And now she doesn't know what to do. She don't know where we're going. Your plan is in pieces. She is lost. You're lost. The enslaver, the master, is gone. I have to you help them. thought you could stop this. But you have lost your mark. The sea tore him away. Just like your hope. You don't need to listen to him. You know this now. Listen to us. You know better. I'm the survivor. He is trying to trick you. You need to help. Well, we'll help anyone we can find. I don't know there's going to be many alive left you to find. Want to save them. They're already dead. Yeah. The lost ones. Don't listen to him. Listen to us, not him. You're a liar. We have to find a way out of here. You are lost too. You must find a way out. How can the lost? Find anyone. Listen, listen. You failed them. Don't listen to him. They are dead. Like your mother. Shut up. Like Make him shut else. up. Stop it. Yeah, shut the fuck up, Dad. Who asked? Can't you hear them, Senua? Can't you hear their screams? Whoa, okay. Uh, <laughs> these rocks having a normal one? Oh. <laughs> okay. Did that just... What's I'm curious what that would have looked like if I was looking there as that happened. Focus. Don't let it block you. Focus. Do it. Focus. They are suffering, but I set them free. Simple. You need to find it. It's here. Somewhere. Look for it. Look for the signs. Find the right perspective. You will sense when you are close. The signs are here. Whoa, Whoa look at all the shit in the background. <laughs> that is trippy. Okay, I mean, it's... Alright, oh, okay, you line this up here, I guess. It's there. Focus. You found it. You found it. Focus. You don't know it's how deep. Darkness goes. Yes, you've done it. You completed the symbol. 
What now? You must go back to the gate. She must go back. Behind the symbol is the source of the darkness. You need to understand it. Uncover the darkness, Emma. This is why you have come. I need to find the source of all this. I promised. Save the survivors. Don't listen to the dead, just move onwards. Yeah. Find the survivors. Unfortunate day to be those guys. Look, wait, wait, look. Some of them, some of them, they survived. They tried to, tried to. They were wounded. They were scared. Oh no! Oh no! It's them. You can find them. They need you. Find somewhere to hide. Help them. Straight through his side. That's gonna hurt in the morning. Hello. What are you waiting for? Okay, heavy attacks when they're blocking to break it. Why have you killed us? Uh, which way am I going? Over here? Over here. Where'd the other guy go? The guy he was dragging. Did he run off? I guess he ran off. I didn't I didn't see what happened. Can I have that weapon? I feel like it would be helpful to have another. A backup, you know? This is an evade tutorial. Get out of the way. Yes, you are 
Get parried, motherfucker. Bitch boy. Pretty intense. Oh, God, hello. Okay, parrying is very good. Hello! God damn it. Every time I go for the heavy. There we go. Every time I go for the heavy when neither of us have attacked at all yet, they fucking go for a light and I immediately get got. Luckily, it seems like you can take a good few hits before game over. Seeing as I have taken a good few hits and have not game over yet, so. That's good. Get back in. Oh, hello. Ooh. What is occurring here? You. Me. Snape. I need him alive. What are you going to do with that sword, girl? I want to run you through with it, to be honest, but apparently I need you alive. You're fucking dead. 
The best you could do. Now right, watch me parry this. Okay, got to dodge the red, I assume. Okay, I'm very slow apparently. Um, I'm enjoying myself now. Okay, got to parry twice in a row. If you get a perfect parry, then you get that little glow and you can do that. Oh, you think this is the end? Again! Damn, you you really should have just killed her right there. You had her. You're going to really regret not just killing her right there. Oh my god. Come on! Ow. You were not to be alive. Come on then. Don't make me kill you. And fight me. I feel like I've been fighting you, mate. Yes, thinking and feel it. I want you stop. Jesus, this is brutal. Get up. Don't be a coward. You have to punch you into He's toying with her. You ready to fight? Grab it. Oh my god. Oh!
she knew the path would open to her. A blood-carved stave, a salt sea falling, a too familiar darkness, an endless night. He is the next sign. sign. What is it? You need to understand. You need to understand. Answer! It is my father, Sigil. His father. Your father. Huh? The Gothi. Monster. He's here. <laughs> Look at him. No. The but this place is his. The people here are weak. They would not survive without his help. You have like to... you. Does she? Enough! He's wounded. He won't try anything. You have to keep your eyes on. Okay. Well, I'm not sure this game is going to have any, like, we should have really great before. places to end parts. <laughs> Feels like it's going to be one kind of continuous thing, so. I wish you had drowned like the others. Just wait till I get free. You're not getting free, mate. So I guess we will we will take the uh, take the opportunity to end parts when and where some vaguely good opportunity arrives, and that feels like the end of the the intro level, as it were. <laughs> Hard to describe the sections of this game as levels. That doesn't really work, but you know what I mean. The uh, we are we are on a new day in a new little chapter, I guess here. So. That is where we will wrap up this opening part. Very effective opening, I feel. Pretty much a mission statement for what the game is going to be. It's going to be looking gorgeous. It's going to be... The combat, it feels pretty similar to what I remember the original being like. But slightly more forgiving with the parry timing, it feels like. But this is memories from like half a decade ago. So I also might just be misremembering exactly how it felt. I just remember I didn't love it in the original, the combat. Uh, but it feels like it might be a little more forgiving this time with the parries, so that would be nice if that is the case. But it doesn't seem like it's been particularly innovated upon other than, like, that. So, yeah, we'll see We'll see if anything changes with it going forward. Uh, but yes, definitely the audio is absolutely killing it as it did before. And, uh, yeah, I'm very interested to see where this journey will take us. So, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, if you could leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share the video around if you can, I would really appreciate that. And if you really like what I do here, there is a Patreon link in the description. Anything you could afford to send my way there would be hugely appreciated. Help with the ongoing running of the channel, the uh, buying of new games. This one, thankfully, is with Game Pass, of course. Uh, but uh, yes, all that is super helpful. I would really appreciate that. And with that, I will see you next time for more Hellblade 2 Senua's Saga. Thanks for watching. See you then.